You know, I actually turn down more brand deals and sponsorships and stuff than I accept. That might be hard to believe, but like Olight wants me to do a video on Olight stuff every month. Every month they make some new stuff. But I'm usually not always interested. And if I'm not interested, I just don't do it. I'm interested. That's the Olight Warrior 3. It's a follow-up to the N2R Pro, which is the N2R Pro is what I recommend, like a, maybe a duty light, like a full-size light you put in a belt or a carrier, like an armor carrier. That's the follow-up, and it's in orange. And they know I'm weak to orange. If I haven't returned their emails in a while, they just make some orange shit. And then here we are. What's that? Swag? It's a tote. It's a bag. Better call it an O-bag. <laughs> it's probably a free gift. Let me look. Where the, uh, it is called the O bag. <laughs> it's, it's this is the O bag. Um, it is a free gift. If you spend X amount of dollars, you always get free stuff, including this time, they're giving away a free keychain flashlight to like everybody that's even logged on to the sale. And I'll put a link down in the description below to the sale if you want to get details. We got a little uh, this thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is all about. <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> the parent 2 in purple this is like a little space penguin looking guy. And then, oh, another Warrior 3. But this one comes in black. Oh, snap. That is a Bade Ace open. Let's get to that real quick. That's like a Gears of War type color scheme. You know what I mean? That's like some Doom 2 Hell on Earth type stuff right here. It's got a nice little light. And this thing, if you double click it, it gives it... A bright, a ridiculously bright amount of light to come out of the little pin. I think it's got a laser on here somewhere. Oh yeah, it does have a laser in there too for lasering things. But I'm not gonna bog you down. These, these are cool. I do, uh, out of all the, the Kubitani related things that are not flashlights, pens are my second favoritest one. I won't go over all this stuff, but this is a self-defense channel and tactical equipment type stuff is more relevant to my interests. This guy right here is the follow-up to the M2R Pro, as I said before, a great duty light. A friend of mine was a police officer and he wanted a, belt, a light for his belt. This is what I would give him. <sighs> oh yeah, it comes in a, a beautiful box with uh, you know accessories and the, and the magnetic charging, which I'll cover before if you have no idea what that is. But this guy right here, Supposedly, this joker has a max of 2300 lumens, which is sort of overkill for most tactical applications. That's not really what you would use on duty to like look through someone's car, but that is what you'd want to throw across, across a yard. Um, I think it's the same size as the M2R Pro. I have one. I have a... Yeah, it's uh, virtually identical. This is the Warrior 3. This is the M2R Pro. It's slightly bigger, and the only added length is this little, this little guy right here, and that's where we're gonna attach our, our weapon light thing. Because they make a, a uh, weapon light attachment thing for it that it can go on there real quick, and then you can just use this pressure switch so you can mount this on your rifle or your crossbow or you know, your whatever. Um, and it can quick on, quick off, and then you can push that down and then that jammy's on there good until you take it off like that if you're worried about it coming free. The old one didn't have that. It was just like, just like the magnetic charging thing, which if you have no idea, which of course you do because you watch this channel, which by the way, there's a certain section of you guys that don't give a shit about any of this flashlight stuff and you watch these videos anyway. You are like literally my favorite people. But the, uh, charging situation it charges on this is it's too dark in here that's what that's what that's what this is for this is the olight swivel this is the worst one but we're in a closet in the dark but the olight swivel is here to the rescue oh yeah that's what this is for look at that look at this look at that <laughs> that's real that just happened i could put this look at that and that way we can see what we're doing here. But yeah, you just, you get, this is still, I'm not doing this right. Oh, I'll put this uh, over there. You can't see it, but you can see the results of what it just did. Now look, you can see me. This awesome, 
And this awesome angle that we're at while we're gonna charge this thing up. Um, you just, that's how you charge it. This thing's pretty cool. That was helpful. Oh, look at that battery indicator. We're learning about it together. That is, this, this thing was already worth it. It's a carabiner-esque contraption there. You could come up with some, some shit for that guy right there. You could hang this on like all kinds of, you know, look at that. Oh my goodness. Home preparedness, just general disaster preparedness, like a power outage or a natural disaster or something like that. It's way more likely, and I still think that's in the realm of hard to hurt stuff. This is a big purple space penguin with a sideways laser head. And uh, I do like the parent. I didn't, I don't, I don't know that it's like a super, I mean, you could use this as a self-defense light, um, obviously, because you could, you know, bash somebody with it and blind them with it. But this one also has got some utility purposes here. You know, you can put it on there like that and it shines sideways, which shining sideways is different than shining forward. That's the, that's the high level of review statements that you came here for. Shining sideways is different than shining forward. <laughs> that's, that's what you can do with that. That's what you can, God, if you care about like how many lumens each setting is and whatnot, check out the link down below. You can go to Olight and get the actual details, like real details, real information. Stuff. If you double click, yep, you get turbo if you double click that. If you just wanna know like what's the light I should bash people with and blind them while I bash them, then it's the Warrior 3. I'll get into some details. Of, I'll, once I get it a little more charged up, see if it's worth the upgrade, if that's important to you. But if you if you care about this goofy thing, uh, I don't know. Hear ye, hear ye. This Olight flash sale video is now in session. This one takes, oh! What is this stuff? Double A's, like a what, like I'm a peasant? Like, this is like revolutionary war level technology. I'm accustomed to a much more complicated and proprietary form of power. Now, so proprietary charging is, uh, you know, a consideration. It is nice if we're talking about disaster preparedness and home preparedness to have some, some shit you can throw like some regular ass batteries in. I bet this goes. Wow, so we got a whole gamut of yellow light, then white light. Interesting, no turbo mode on this. What if you like hang this shit on the front of a shotgun and be like, <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, comment below like what, what is the, what do you, what do you say right before you, Right before you send somebody back to the future. <laughs> this is a, that's actually pretty cool. Kristen hates that. I put stuff like that by the bed. And she laughed when I put the old O lanterns by the bed. She was like, what do you, you think it's like romantic in here now? And I was like, yeah, baby. But this is actually, this is pretty nice. It's like got kind of a brushed, brushed metal thing going on. That's actually a pretty snazzy tactical lantern right there. <laughs> I, you know, whatever. This guy here, we now have the, the added benefit of compatibility with the, you could make the other one a weapon light, but it didn't have the little thing that held the thing firmly. God, I need to, it didn't have the, it wasn't compatible with the new dual button magnetic remote switch. Um, yeah, that. Oh, this is neat. They've never put this on this one before. This one has a battery level indicator too. It's uh, it tells me what level it's on and how much battery is left. That's pretty, pretty cool. That's feature rich. Having a battery level indicator is important, especially if you plan on doing any kind of work with it. Um, do I have a, yeah, there, there's a go, I have a strobe. You don't need to strobe. I like low for this because I don't need to push this button in a hurry and I don't need low light in a hurry. That's one important 
thing. I, I do like for a duty light to have the option of a low light that I can perform menial tasks with. You're not in a rush to do it, so it's okay that it's a side switch, but you also have a proper, you know, tail cap switch, uh, regular push for regular amount of light, and when you really need to give somebody the business, you know, boom, you give them that turbo, or you need to look across a field. This checks a lot of boxes if you are a police officer, security officer, uh, EMT, firefighter, anyone who works in an increased risk environment, because this is sort of a big light for everyday carry. I don't know that I would carry this every day like in my pocket. That'd be, it's a little big for that, especially for me, because I am a tiny person. But if you're carrying it in a vest or a duty belt, that's a good light. I will put a link down in the description below to that. Did I miss anything? Oh, no, they didn't. The Perrin Mini, which I do really like the Perrin Mini, has a headlamp band. There's a headlamp band in this. I don't think, I don't think. <laughs> it's not really that heavy. This is actually kind of comfortable. The Olight Swivel is definitely going in the charging station. Battery level indicator, USB charging, USB-C. Look at there, USB-C. All the gearheads have been mad that they've been making stuff like that's not USB-C. Like why are you even, why are you even bothering with non-C stuff like still? Why are we still, does this have modes? Bright, brighter, normal. Hold it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It has a, it has a that light too. It's also just a flashlight. If you hold it down, watch, I bet I switch back. Boom! <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. I do know how to do this stuff. This thing is neat. These are awesome. You could totally blind someone and bash them with this. This is uh, romantic. The Gears of War pen in a uh, blood spatter red. That there, complete with laser and also light of multiple brightnesses up to and including a turbo mode. Oh, it's cause it's Halloween. That's why it's purple and orange. They got everything in purple and orange. They got their, their uh, you know, their knives, the old bulbs, they got all the stuff in these limited edition colors. But that's the way that works. I, I only do flashlight videos or pen videos or knife videos when I legitimately think it's something that's interesting, cool, or it's something that I would recommend. But also, if you, you do click that link and go buy the stuff, it does support the channel. Also, too.